absolutely pouring here today, so this sunny work is really cheering me up. This week, we're looking at one of my favourite artists and one of my favourite artworks. This piece, called La Jeuve by Matisse, made in 1953, just a few months before he died. We're going to look at why it's so significant, not only for his life, but also for art history in general. This is significant for Matisse because this was one of Matisse's last works. In 1953, Matisse was wheelchair bound. He'd been diagnosed with cancer, he had an operation, and less able to do more physical art methods such as oil painting. He turned to these cutouts or these decoupés as they're called. This artwork was made just under a year before he died but it explodes with life. Just look at the vitality. It says a lot about Matisse's mindset that he remarked upon the sheer joy of the beauty of the universe. It was made in a hot country. It was made in the south of France and it was his only West Coast US commission. Another reason why it was so important in Matisse's oeuvre, it was turned into a ceramic almost three meters by four meters. It was to hang on the wall of one of the uh, communal rooms in this Los Angeles house. So why is this artwork stylistically important for the canon of art? Well, he took to this method of cutouts and it really changed the goalposts as to what was acceptable to produce as finished art. We've seen in the 20th century the goalposts of low art and high art moving towards a unity and this encouraged that train of thought. It was really revolutionary. Even if we think now of cutting out bits of paper and sticking them on a background in coloured design, it's quite freeing. You know, it's still quite inspiring today as a way of making art. So imagine what it felt like back then as an artist to see these works being seen as mainstream. Artists no longer saw the distinction between high art and low art. This is really key for 20th century art development. As Edward Lucy Smith, a prominent art historian, said, this is visual art pushed as far as it can be pushed if hedonism is its only aim. For me personally, this also links to one of my favourite art movements, the faux. Colour was their main mode of painting, a ridiculously short art movement from 1905 to 1907, which we'll look at again later. Next up, we're going to look at the subject of this piece. Hope you like the video. Please like the video, subscribe to our page and spread the word. Thanks.